Howdy, folks. So, uh, good news and bad news real quick. Bad news, I decided to make this video during the solar eclipse. Uh, good news is, I can make this video buck naked. <laughs> and you guys won't be able to see, uh, well, thinking about it now, you wouldn't be able to see it anyways. That is what they call me. O-U-T, L-A-W. That is what they call me. King of the woods, hit for the stairs. That is what they call me. Outlaw, outlaw. All right, all right, put my freaking clothes on, gosh dang. <laughs> I was gonna use the solar eclipse as an excuse. Gosh dang it, man. Hey, you folks down south, I heard you guys get a pretty gosh dang view, good view of that thing. I'll tell you a little story real quick. Last time we had a solar eclipse, which I think it was in like 2017 or something like that, I, 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 I think, I was outside doing yard work and had uh, headphones on and I don't pay attention too much to what go is going on in the world. Dude, I was doing yard work and it started getting more dusk looking and I didn't even like look up at the sky, but like suddenly out of nowhere, it was like freaking dark and I was like, oh my, I was home alone. Actually, yeah, I wasn't even married. Nobody was living with me. I was living alone and dude, I started getting legit scared and the, my internet was out at the same time. So I'm sitting here trying to look up like, what's going on, dude? Is the world freaking ending? And I look up at the sky and I see this thing going over the sun. It scared the absolute freaking poop out of me. So um, this time I actually knew it was coming. It's happening today. Let me know in the comments below if you got a good view. <laughs> I'm trying to give you guys a good view right now. Uh, happy Monday, folks. You know, on Mondays, it, sometimes it's a little hard for us. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, we do dip vidges here on the Outlaw channel, and I figured we're going to bring in one today that's perfect for a Monday, and that's adding a little whiskey to it, son. Adding a little whiskey to it. And today we're going to be doing some whiskey snooze, folks. Now, man, I don't know what's been going on with the focus lately. Come on, baby. Oh, oh gosh dang it, man. It's <laughs> it got facial recognition on. There we go. Folks, we got General McMira today. This has actually just recently, within the past couple of weeks, been discontinued and no longer purchasable. But uh, I've had this in the, in, the, uh, in the fridge for the past couple of weeks and I thought this would be a perfect review because I think it's a very interesting snooze. This is the portion version. There is a loose version, which some people say the loose version is, is real snooze. Portions aren't real snooze, even though exactly what's in the loose is in the portion. But at the same time, I get your point. Same people that say, hey man, if you don't dip snuff, if you dip pouches, say, you know, same type of deal we have here in America. But this is a Swedish product, obviously, by General. Um, Dude, am I going to need to freaking cover your face? Dang it, man. These facial recognitions on the camera just piss me off sometimes, dude. I was thinking about getting a mural of John Wayne right here, but dude, that's freaking out the window. First things first, before we get into this, just want to let you guys know, this video is for educational purposes only. If you're trying to quit tobacco or nicotine, make sure to check us out over on atlawdip.com. 100% tobacco with nicotine free. But if you still want that buzz, we do have our NickSafe options, which still give you a buzz that is non-addictive. And toxicology reports show that is much safer than actual nicotine. Link is in the description box below. Quit tobacco nicotine today. Don't be a quitter, though. Be an outlaw. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I thought it was clever. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and look at the can here. Beautiful gold on top. You see the catch lid. It says portion, and it says Swedish oak on there. Co-blend Macmira. Macmira is a whiskey produced in Sweden. And the one that they used for this one with this color form and everything like that, you'll see on the bottle. We'll put a picture up here. Now, I actually tried to get a bottle of this. Um, Svensk Ek, if you... Uh, translate that into English. It just means Swedish oak. It's a single malt whiskey, so similar to your scotch. Um, and uh, the Swedish oak is, you know, that, that this is one of the biggest whiskeys in Sweden. I tried to get a bottle of it, but the freaking taxes and shipping just to get a bottle was going to be like $180. I was like, screw that, dude. There's no way I'm making my money back on this gosh dang vision for that thing. So uh, we ain't going to be doing that today. We're just going to be doing the dip. Now, I actually have cracked this open and done this before, and that's why I'm doing a video on it. I wanted to try it before, see, you know, is it worth doing an actual main channel video on it, or should I keep it to the patrons? But uh, this one definitely is because of how interesting the, the flavor profile is. On the side label here, we've got our crazy... Uh, 
crazy tascatoda that your nipples are going to fall off. I can't pronounce it, but I'm pretty sure that's what it says. You'll see portion sweet co- sweet co- sweet pfft, sweet Oak on the side and Copeland with Mac Mira. So General worked with the whiskey company Mac Mira. And um, the General is also owned by Swedish Match. They do a lot of different things, a lot of different snooses. And uh, this is uh, one of their whiskey snooses. There's not a lot of whiskey snooses out there. We're going to be talking about some whiskey snooses today. I've done a couple on this channel before. This one is, it's pretty far up there, to be honest with you. Let's go ahead and look at these portions, dude. Look at these freaking things. It almost... I gotta hide myself here. It almost looks like your American dip pouches. They're wet, they're moist, they're dark. Look how dark those things are. Now, this is an original portion. With Swedish Snooze, you'll have certain types of different portions. You'll have your original portions, which are moistened a little bit, you'll, uh, with, with a little bit more drip in the lip. And then you'll have your white portions, which uh, don't give you as much drip, and they're drier. And then you have a bunch of different types of ones, slim and, and all that other uh, jazz. But these are original portion, por- portions, your little original portions, and they are definitely a lot wetter. Let's go ahead and plump one up and put it in our lip right off the bat with the smell. Okay, let me just, let me just first off tell you why I'm making this video, and you can already see in the title. This is a Swedish snooze, okay? And the smell, the aroma, the taste, the flavor profile, everything is almost exact, folks, to Copenhagen Long Cut Original. I'm saying, like, almost exact. When I first opened this, I was like, what? Because most of the people that do reviews on these that I saw before are either from Sweden and they've never had Copenhagen, or they're just straight snoozers and they never had Copenhagen. So when I, being a dipper... I was like, holy smokes, this legitimately smells just like Copenhagen. Let's see if it tastes like it. Go ahead and throw it in the upper lip there. Upper deckers make your pecker bigger. Good Lord, we know I freaking need it. That's why I was trying to make a video freaking being invisible, son. Woo-wee. All right, so nicotine strength in these are a little over 10 per pouch. These, you know, the annoying thing about, I don't know why they're doing this. Maybe because people are just, excuse my language, but pussies nowadays. Uh, they don't really do one gram pouches anymore. They're all like 0.85 or something like that. Um, so they're not like the full one gram pouches that really make you feel like you got something up in your lip. I mean, the 0.8 or whatever this one is, is, is not horrible. I do enjoy the one gram pouches a little bit more. So right off the bat, you get a smoky, dark tobacco, rich, almost almost a little bit of dark chocolate. You get a little bit of oakiness. I don't get a lot of whiskey right off the bat though. That's, that's the one thing that whenever I I've had this like four or five times before this video, I really was trying to, to seek the whiskey out in this. I don't get a lot of the whiskey. I get more of the dark, rich tobacco undertones. And to be honest, like I don't even care if I taste the whiskey because this is so similar to Copenhagen long cut. It's crazy. Like it's what I get, I always call Copenhagen and Longcut Original the salty goods because it was like you got this rich tobacco undertone, but then it was like this salt that you got a lot. And when I touch this with my tongue, I kind of move the aroma around my mouth. I get that. I get a little bit of that smoky tobacco taste, but a lot of salt. And it's, it's almost exact. Like, I wish I had a can of Copenhagen and Longcut here to compare it to, but I just had it like a week ago and it's like exactly the freaking same. So if you're ever trying to get into Swedish snus and you want something that tastes exactly like Copenhagen, this would have been the perfect one, but they just discontinued it. This has been out for like eight years now, I think. Um, I don't know if they were going back and forth from, from uh, uh, like continuing it and discontinuing it. I don't know, but they just discontinued it. It's pretty much out everywhere online that I can see now. It's gone, son. So I did like the look of the can. Very cool. I like the gold and the orange together. A little bit of shine to it, or sheen, I should say. As far as the whiskey, you know, I wish I could have tried it because I am a whiskey connoisseur as well. I'm not getting a lot of whiskey. I just get, like, I think this pouch might have broke, actually. I think it's starting to leak out the side. Maybe not. Nope, that's just the oatmeal I ate about 20 minutes ago. I apologize for that. Put that back up in there. Yeah, already starting to dye my fingers a little bit, which our original portion will do. Whatever, I can't even focus anymore. Literally or figuratively. To me, it's not that big of a whiskey snooze because I don't get a big whiskey taste from it, to be honest. Like, I feel like I do get a little bit of oakiness because it's drying my mouth out a little bit, right? So like, 
I do get a little bit of that oakiness, which you'll get in like bourbon, a really heavy oaked bourbon that, you know, maybe has been aged for like 18 years or longer. I got a can, I got a, a bottle of Knob Creek 18 in there that I pull out every once in a while. And it is like an oak bomb, right? Like a sweet oak bomb. It's not, I would say to some people, it's probably over oaked, but it dries your mouth out a little bit because of all the oak. Ew, I just imagine like licking oak, like an oak barrel. That's nasty. So that's kind of the feeling that I get from this a little bit. It dries the mouth out a little bit. I get a little bit of that oak. I don't get a lot of sweetness out of this. It's mostly just like those dark, rich tobacco undertones, saltiness, and some oak. And it's, to be honest, like all three of those together or whatever, however many I just named, it's a good balance. I like it. It's a balanced snooze. Now, apparently this is general original mixed with the Mac Mira. So general original, I do get a little bit of that in here, but the Mac Mira whiskey, all I'm really getting more of is like a little bit of oak and maybe a little more salt content. Now something, a snooze that I really do enjoy as a whiskey snooze, which is probably my favorite, is this guy right here. This is Isla Whiskey Snooze. Now these are the white portions. I l absolutely love the loose snooze I have in the house. These are white portions. These are just absolutely Oh, there we go. Don't worry, boy. We got the four second roll around here, son. I absolutely love this. And just the aroma of this coming in is like a sweet whiskey, just a beautiful whiskey smell that I'm getting from this right away, which I don't get from this. This, I get much more tobacco. I get tobacco from this too, but I get the whiskey like right up front and it's like sweet. If you guys are looking for a whiskey snooze, this Isla whiskey snooze is absolutely delicious. Um, this is made by GN Tobacco which is pretty much the main competitor over in Sweden to Swedish Match. I love a lot of what GN does. And uh, GN is the same company that makes Odin's, the same company that makes Siberia, and a bunch of other things that you guys know and love as well. Swedish Match pretty much makes everything else. So I would say between these two, and I'm gonna do a review on this on my Patreon, which make sure you guys go check it out. Uh, in the link, link, link is in the description box below to my Patreon, and we do exclusive videos every single week on different types of snooses and dips just for our patrons. Also, you get discounts on dip, you get discounts on merch, you get discounts on, uh, uh, you get free free merch, depending on what tier you go to, and a bunch of other stuff. We have a Discord over there and stuff, so I'm gonna be doing a review on this this week. This General Mac Mira, I would say between the two of these, as a whiskey snooze, I'm gonna choose this. As a regular everyday snooze, I think this one's great. Like it's got a great tobacco profile, taste profile. I like the saltiness. I like the little bit of oak that I get to it. I just like it, man. And it's so exact to Copenhagen Long Cut, it's crazy. Like it's weird that a Swedish company, and now they are two in the same, honestly, because Altria owns Philip Morris, and which just bought Swedish Match. Altria also owns U.S. Smokers Tobacco, who owns Copenhagen. So, you know, they're all pretty much within the same thing now. But I am kind of sad that they discontinued it because... This is a pretty gosh, gosh, dang, gosh dang good snooze. Before I got out of here, I had to look it up on the website on what their tasting notes were. They said dried fruits, cedar. I definitely get a little bit of cedar. That's drying the mouth out a little bit too. Whiskey along with hits of tar and malt. I don't really get that much. I mean, I guess I get a little bit of that tar, which might just be coming through with the tobacco a little better than expected. I'm not getting the dried fruits really, um, but I am definitely getting the wood, the cedar, the oak and uh, not much of the whiskey, like I said, as well. But like I said, man, it's a great snooze. Whiskey snooses are something that, uh, you know, there's not a lot of them, but there is uh, quite a few over in Sweden. I'd like to see a lot of whiskey snooses in America. The only ones we have are obviously the, uh, the Copenhagen Black, which I don't even think is really a whiskey snooze because they're not mixing it with whiskey. So um, it's just f fermented in bourbon barrels, they say. So. Uh, I'd like to see a lot more of this though, but with the way things are going in our freaking country and in our world, we're probably never going to see it again because everything's going to nick pouches and all this crap that's super easy to make and just cheap and I just, it just annoys me. That's why I do vidges on this, like on, on really good products that just like a lot of time and effort was put into this. It was co-blended. There was master distillers on this thing. Like when you make a nick pouch, it's just like, oh yeah, let's put some freaking powder in this and put some powder in there and oh, bam, there we go. Put it in the machine and let her rip, tater chip. Stuff like this. I'm sad to see you go. And it seems like every other day something gets discontinued that we all love. So there it is, folks. General Mac Mira, say goodbye. What a good snooze it was. I believe it was around for eight years. I love it, man. It's starting to juice up a little bit now. I just get those smoky notes and man, I like it, man. I like it. And also now I'm really starting to get a lot of that wood 
it, like, I'm honestly, like, it feels like I'm chewing on a freaking stick or something like that, to be honest with you. It's drying my mouth out, but I just enjoy the whole profile of it. It's, it's actually kind of balanced. It, it is pretty balanced. I reckon that is going to do it for me today, folks. I figured we had to come on here and talk about this, especially since it's been discontinued. I wanted to shed some light on it. Like I said, don't forget to check out the Patreon in the description box below. And speaking of Patreon, or speaking of, well, whatever, I, I wasn't even speaking of anything. I, I'm, okay, it, <clears throat> this Friday. Everybody get prepared, because we are doing a live show. I'm probably going to run it for a couple hours. We talked about whiskey today. I have a lot of different bourbon in my, uh, in my bar at the house that I have not opened yet. Two of them being a Blanton's Gold and a Blanton's Straight from the Barrel. I have a ton of other ones out there. I want to open those on the live show. Just hang out with you guys on a Friday night. This Friday, we're going to be doing a live show on this channel. So make sure you put it down in your calendar and you come hang out with us this freaking Friday. It is going to be fun. And I think we might do an after live show on our Patreon uh, just for our patrons and kind of chat about you know what we did that night and all that. So I, I really do appreciate all my Patreon and you can also join and become a member of this channel get custom emojis and replies from me in the comments below so make sure to check that out on the outlaw channel as well all right guys i think that's going to do it for me i'm about to go film a couple more videos throughout this week like i said live show this friday i think that's all i got for you my name's outlaw and i'm out y'all we'll see you on the snoo side Holla. you can pick a song i'm gonna roll the windows up One for the lady sitting in the back